Rolling, action. So in Deuteronomy 18, 18, yeah. we read the following. In Deuteronomy 18, 18, we read these words. Come, Bob. The Lord, starting from 15. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from amongst your countrymen. You shall listen to him. This is according to all that you ask the Lord your God in Horeb. And Muslims go around and they say that this is Muhammad. Okay. That this is Muhammad because he is the prophet like unto Moses. Yeah, they say that. And they usually give the argument that goes along the lines that Moses was born of a mother and father like Muhammad, that Moses was a political leader like Muhammad, that he was a ruler like Muhammad, that he brought laws like Muhammad, that he died a natural death like Muhammad. The problem with that kind of logic is that so was Napoleon. By that kind of logic, Napoleon is like Moses and thus is every bit the prophet like unto Moses. It's a false logic. They usually give about nine criteria to say that Muhammad is like Moses. Okay. I'm going to give you 29 <laughs> criteria as to why Jesus is like Moses and not, and not Muhammad. Ah, okay, whoa, whoa, pause there, pause there. And I want you to listen, not just to the quantity, but the quality of the comparisons. Ah, okay. Because Muslims have deceived themselves wow. into thinking that Deuteronomy is talking about Muhammad. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. They've deceived themselves, plus they shot themselves in the foot. <laughs> because they say in one breath that we can't trust the Torah, and then in the next breath say it's reliable enough to see Muhammad there. I'm going to give you 29 reasons why Jesus is like Muhammad. Like Muhammad, no, like Moses. Sorry, like Moses. Ah, 29 nice. reasons why Jesus is like Moses. Uh, Number one, <laughs> Moses and Jesus were both persecuted as a child. Proof, Exodus 1, 8 to 22, Matthew 2, 1 to 16, 2. Both Moses and Jesus were adopted into a royal household. Proof, Exodus 2, 1 to 10, Matthew 1, 20 to 25. Three, Moses and Jesus came to their people and were rejected by their people. Proof, Exodus 2, verse 11. Luke 4, verses 14 to 30. Four, both Moses and Jesus came out of Egypt. Exodus 2, 11 to 25, Matthew 2 to 15. Did Muhammad come out of Egypt? No. Was Muhammad adopted into a royal family? No. Was Muhammad persecuted as a child? No. Number five. Both Moses and Jesus <laughs> returned to bring judgment. Yeah, yeah. Proof, Exodus 7 verse 5, Matthew 25 verses 31 to 46. Does Muhammad return to bring judgment? No. Both Muhammad and Jesus spoke to God directly. Exodus 33 verse 11. John 12, verse 49. Did Muhammad speak directly to Allah? No. 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 <laughs> uh, <okay>. Number seven. <laughs> Bob, Bob, seven. Number seven. Uh, number seven. Both Moses yeah. and Jesus yeah. brought a new covenant. Proof. Exodus 19, verses 1 to 5. Luke 22. 19 to 20. Look, 19 to 20. Did Muhammad bring a new covenant? No, they did not. 
Proof! Both, Ma both Moses and Jesus! Bro, can you take a hint? All right. Stop being rude. <laughs> no, no, but I wanted to say... Both wait, 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 wait. Moses say and Jesus led their people out of captivity. Yeah. Proof! Exodus 13, 8 to 9, Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Did Muhammad bring his people out of captivity? Yes, he did. Yes, he no. did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I just wanted Evidence to say that when I was being nine. nice to Bob just now, I was hugging Bro, him. Can you just stop being rude? Right, 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 so, so, it has to be about peace and love. Bro, it has to be about peace and love. Peace and love. Notice the Muslims Jesus are stung. Jesus came that their peace. prophet is Jesus. not like unto Moses, Jesus came for peace like and love. they have been told Jesus by said, their teachers. Jesus said, "Peace and love." He said, "Bro, you have to love get your, your own camera." Yeah, Seriously, I love your brother. Yes, I love you. Now, no, please no, stop no, being rude. No, no, no. Because, uh, because so, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say that both Moses Jesus and Muhammad were cousins. And ah, okay, Jesus, exactly. Jesus and Muhammad bring were cousins. their people. Don't bite, bro. Don't bite. You're, bro, bro, you're feeding the troll. Abraham children. Bro, okay. If you want to listen to him, yeah. stay here. <laughs> if you want to listen to the rest of my presentation, <laughs> wait, 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 I'm walking wait, over there. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone wants to listen to me. Wait, wait, wait. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say, Bob, yeah, I just wanted to say, Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad were uh, cousins. They were not cousins. They were no, 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 just give him energy. So, evidence number nine. Ah, okay. Both Jesus and Moses led their people to a new homeland. Proof, Exodus 13, verses 8 to 9. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Did Muhammad lead his people to a new homeland or just invade the homeland of other people <laughs> proof number 10 okay. both jesus and muhammad spoke in the name of yahweh no no jesus and moses yes sorry thank you i'm tired both jesus and moses spoke in the name of yahweh yeah. proof exodus 315 john chapter 5 verse 43 did muhammad speak in the name of yahweh no both moses and jesus were jews was muhammad a jew no both moses and jesus kept the law of moses okay proof numbers 11 16 to 17 matthew 5 18 to 19 did muhammad keep the law of moses no both moses and jesus had the spirit of god fall upon them proof deuteronomy 4 mark 1 9 to 12 Actually, I've just realized those quotations need to be inverted. But they prove that Moses and Jesus kept the law of Moses and had the Spirit of God fall upon them. Did Muhammad have the Holy Spirit fall upon him? No. no. Both Moses and Jesus were God on earth to the people that saw them. Okay. Proof. Exodus 7 and Matthew 1, 22 to 23. Was Muhammad ever seen as God on earth? No. no. Proof 15. Both Moses and Jesus shone with the uncreated light of God. Proof. Exodus 34, 29 to 35 and Matthew 17, 1 to 8. Did Muhammad ever shine with the glory of God? No. no. Both Moses and Jesus appeared on earth post-mortem. Proof, the Mount of Transfiguration, when Moses appeared to Jesus and the post-resurrection appearances of Jesus in the Gospels. Did Muhammad 
ever appear post mortem? No. No, that thing. Evidence 17. <laughs> Both Moses and Jesus spent time in the desert before doing their mission. Proof Deuteronomy 8, verse 2, and Matthew 4, verses 1 to 2. Did Muhammad spend time in the desert preparing to do his mission? No. 18. Moses' mother was an Israelite. Jesus' mother was an Israelite. Evidence. Exodus 2, 1 to 4. Luke 1, verses 46 to 55. Was Muhammad an Israelite? No. He says, I'm a liar. <laughs> Israelites are the descendants of Jacob. Every Muslim will tell you that Muhammad was a descendant of Ishmael. Oh, yeah. So I'm not lying, he's just wrong. So, both Moses and Jesus spoke of another to come who would be like them. Moses said it in Deuteronomy 18, 15 to 22. And Jesus said it in the Gospel of John, chapters 14 to 16. Evidence 20. I'm running out of breath, not evidences. So I'm going to just bring it down a notch. Evidence 20. Both Moses and Jesus had familial lines connected to the Levitical priesthood. Evidence, Exodus 2, chapters 1, verses 1 to 4. Luke, chapter 1, verses 5 and 36. Evidence 21. Both Moses and Jesus are connected to Abraham through Jacob. Evidence, Exodus 1, verse 5. Matthew 1, verse 2. Evidence 22. Both Moses and Jesus fasted for 40 days. Evidence, Exodus 24, verses 17 to 18, Deuteronomy 9, verse 9. Matthew 4, verses 1 to 2. Did Muhammad, was Muhammad connected to Abraham through Jacob? No. Did he fast for 40 days? No. Was he connected to the Levitical priesthood? No. Both Moses and Jesus taught from the mountains. Exodus 19, 24, Matthew 5, 7. Did Muhammad preach from a mountain or in cities like Medina and Mecca? Muhammad was not like Mo Moses, but Jesus was. Both Moses and Jesus taught that sacrifice was key to escaping death. Exodus 12, verses 5, John, chapter 1, verse 29, 1 Peter, 1, 19. Muhammad did not teach that death was connected to the idea, that sacrifice was connected to the idea of escaping God's judgment and death. Evidence 25. Both Moses and Jesus sent out 70 other people into the midst of Israel to help with the execution of their mission. Evidence, Exodus 18, 13 to 26, chapter 24, verses 1. Luke, chapter 10, verse 1 to 20. Did Muhammad send out 70 people into the nation of Israel to help with the execution of his mission? No. Evidence 26. Both Jesus and Moses healed people of leprosy. Evidence. Numbers 12, 9 to 15. Mark 1, 40 to 45. Did Moses heal leprosy? No, both Jesus and Moses were intercessors for their people to God. Evidence, Exodus 32, 
verses 11 to 14, Hebrews 7, verse 25. Muhammad said that he could not intercede for his people to save them, that their judgment was between God and them. Evidence 28, both Moses and Jesus speak the words of God. Evidence, Exodus 7, verse 1, John 12, 49. They speak the words of Yahweh. Muhammad did not speak the words of Yahweh, the words that he heard, he heard from an angel, Gabriel. Evidence 29, this is the last one, both Moses and Jesus have seen God directly. Exodus 33, 18 to 23, and John 6, 46. Muhammad never saw Allah. So in 29 different ways, Jesus is like Moses, but Muhammad is not. So there's an easy question to ask you. Is it fair for me to say that Jesus was like Moses? Any questions? How are you doing, sister?